Super Tuesday is finally upon us. 14 states are holding primaries today, making it a crucial day for Democratic presidential hopefuls. And in Virginia alone, 99 delegates will be up for grabs today. Jessica Smith joins us now from George Mason University in Fairfax, Virginia. Jessica, big day for you and the team down there. Who have you been, who have you been talking uh, to so far on the ground? Yeah, I've been talking to voters over the past few days, some students here on campus, and what I hear most is health care. These voters are very concerned about health care, also climate change, gun violence, and housing, and of course, just who is going to beat President Trump. Students here I've talked to said that is very important to them. They said that they would likely vote for whoever the Democratic nominee will be. We did have one Sanders supporter who said she will write in Sanders no matter what, uh, but I also talked to the Virginia Chamber of Commerce CEO to find out what the business community is watching going into this race. He told me that because Virginia is so dependent on federal spending, the business community wants a president who is going to invest in the nation's infrastructure and defense. Let's watch. Well, we at the Virginia Chamber don't really endorse candidates. Uh, we do endorse ideas. And I will tell you that Virginia business leaders are very interested and uh, policymakers that understand that prosperity comes from free enterprise and that prosperity comes from allowing businesses to grow and employ people. And uh, business leaders are not too interested in the results of socialism in the history of the world. Now, the Commonwealth is set to be a very competitive race tomorrow. Biden, Bloomberg, and Sanders are all hoping to do well here. I talked to a few Bloomberg supporters over the weekend, and they told me they were originally in Biden's camp. But after his lackluster start, they decided that Bloomberg was the best person to beat President Trump. It will be interesting to see if those kinds of voters change their mind again now that Biden has started to pick up some steam. And you should remember that the Commonwealth has been steadily turning blue since President Trump took office. Democrats held the governor's mansion. They flipped some Republican congressional seats. And for the first time in decades, they managed to take control of both chambers of the state legislature. Bloomberg played a big role in that. He spent a lot of money to get that done. So we'll be watching to see if that will help him now that he's on the ballot. Brian and Alexis. All right. Thanks very much, Jessica Smith for us in Virginia. Hey, investors. Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.